Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Today I'm working on a 1980 shovel head and I'm rebuilding the bottom end and I want to talk today about cam end plate. It's very important to set up the cam end plate for longevity of the cam, longevity of the bearings, and your ignition system because if the end play is too much, it moves the cam in and out and it might destroy your ignition system that depends on the pickup on the end of it. But let me explain on figuring out end play. First, let me show you what end play is. This cam is pushed in all the way against a thrust washer that's inside here. And the end play will be considered in between this cam and this thrust washer. Now, what holds this in place? is the cam cover. We will put the cam cover on with the gasket that we will be using because different gaskets from different manufacturers are going to be a different thickness. We're going to torque down the bolts to the correct 110 to 120 inch pounds and then we will use a screw or some kind of apparatus to push and pull on this cam to figure out how much end play there is and I will show you the two ways that I figure out what the end play is. All right, the two ways that I figure out what the end play of the cam is with the cam cover installed with the gasket that I'm going to use. I purchased a long time ago from the Troc Cycle Specialty a cam end play checker. And basically it's a dial indicator that has its own mount. And I'm sure that a lot of you innovators can make a mount for a dial indicator that sits up against the cam on it. But this is a dial indicator that has a arm that sits against the cam and then I have a rod here that screws into the cam that I can push in and out to get the end play on it. So I've got this set up at zero because I push the cam all the way in against the thrust washer and then I pull this out and it tells me I've got 78 thousandths end play on it. Recheck. Yep. Okay, so I've got 78 thousandths end play. So the washers, which are this size, that go in between that thrust washer and the cam, they're measured uh, starting at 50 thousandths and every five thousandths more. So I need a, oh, the specification is one to 16 thousandths. I like to have it at 10. If you set it up at five, the expansion of the motor sometimes takes up some end play and I don't want it really tight, especially on an old shovel head with cast iron and aluminum, everything mixed together. So I like to set them up at 10. I set up evolutions at 10 also. It seems to be a nice able for the cam to float a little bit, doesn't work against the ignition system. Now, that brings up a point that I brought earlier in this video, is that if you have too much end play, your cam moves in and out 78 thousandths, and your pickup for your ignition is on the end of the cam. So it's moving in and out. So it's a possibility that it could move in and out against the ignition system that you have in here and destroy something. And if some of you have the flyweights with a Dyna ignition system or points, that's moving in and out all the time and really working against your ignition system and your timing. So you want minimum, and 10 thousandths won't show up that much on your ignition system, that will keep everything still aligned. So I've chosen a 70 thousandths, that will give me 8 thousandths, pretty close to it. I'm gonna get a 70 thousandths washer, put it behind, recheck just to be sure that I've got my minimum now, if you don't have a dial indicator and you're old school, like I was for many years, feeler gauge is the other way of doing it. You take your lifter block off and you reach down and you put your feeler gauge in between that area of the thrust washer and the cam and you measure and you keep just moving your feeler gauges, adding, since your feeler gauges only go up to 30 thousandths, you're going to have to use multiple and adding together and keep them squeezed together. But you can figure it out this way and what is tight and what isn't and then make sure that you calculate the one to 16 thousandths end play that you want. So you can do feeler gauge or dial indicator and that should help you get the correct end play so you are keeping the reliability of your cam 
and the stress on your bearings to the minimum and you're keeping your ignition system aligned for doing a great work for your motorcycle. I hope this helps you in assembling the old shovel head and evolution motorcycles. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.